Hello, first trip to Ironwood this season. Hello folks. This is Dave Penny. I made a flight today to Ironwood, Michigan from Waukesha. This was a flight in my M20F Mooney, 1976. This was a uh, pretty gusty day, actually. The winds at Waukesha were about uh, 16 with gusts to 26. They were pretty much straight down the runway at 290. The runway at Waukesha is 280. But it did provide for a little bit of rocking and rolling uh, upon departure. Otherwise, it was a beautiful day with uh, some clouds. Uh, mostly scattered, fairly warm uh, in the mid-70s. After a full winter of flying, uh, you're not really used to the warm temperatures. All in all, a really good day. So the plan was a direct to Ironwood flight. I filed uh, IFR. Um, I knew that there would be some potential for some clouds over in Ironwood. And uh, I generally like to fly instruments whenever possible. Unfortunately, the audio of the GoPro video didn't turn out so well. And I'm not sure if a cable was loose, but uh, that's why I'm voice using voiceover. <laughs> so basically, uh, my flight plan was accepted, and uh, I pretty much flew direct to Ironwood. Here you can see us. Starting our way north. So we uh, received clearance to our final altitude, and here we are. So the forecast was for moderate turbulence through the entire route, and it pretty much lived up to that. A few moments seemed like a strong moderate. Part of that's just the size of the plane. I was just about at the base of those clouds. Uh, we cruised at 6,000, and the uh, cloud bases were probably around 7 to 8 down in Waukesha, but as we got further up north, the base was just around 6,000 and then below. As we got further north, the temperature also dropped. By this time, it was pretty much freezing, so I knew that icing was a possibility. There was a um, icing uh, forecast in this area, uh, but because of the sparse cloud cover, I wasn't overly concerned. Uh, we also were in an area where we had some leeway as far as altitude choices go, so I knew I had a way out if we did run into any icing. I thought it was a good opportunity to see how the icing would be. Uh, I'm a relatively new instrument pilot, in fact, very new. I just got my uh, rating in June of 2019. So I'm very conservative, uh, and this was a good opportunity to uh, fly in conditions that could produce some icing. And so you can see here I'm in the cloud, and it's still moderately turbulent, uh, but definitely better than uh, toward the south. So you can see me looking at the wing leading edge. That's one of the first places where ice crystals will accumulate that along with uh, small objects on the plane such as the pitot tube. By this time I had already turned on the pitot heat 
in anticipation of possible ice. Otherwise, the performance of the plane was really good at this point. The other thing that I knew was that uh, just a few hundred feet below my current altitude, I'd be in the clear. Uh, so if I had become concerned about any significant icing or performance changes, I would have asked for lower from ATC. Here you can see a blurred picture of the leading edge. You might be able to pick up a, a few um, highlighted areas uh, on the leading edge wing of the wing. Uh, they look like uh, slightly brighter than the, the blue. Uh, that was the, the ice, and it looked like rime ice. Once we uh, were cleared to lower, the ice started to melt away uh, with the warmer temperatures. Also, sublimation helped. At 6,000 feet, the temperature was 28 degrees Fahrenheit. So here we're given our clearance to descend down to our approach altitude. We'd be out of the clouds here soon, and Ironwood was VFR, and so we were given clearance for the visual, and I just used the ILS to line up. All in all, this was a good first flight of the year. Hopefully this will be my weekly commute for the remainder of the season until fall. This sir certainly beats the five and a half hour drive from Waukesha up to Ironwood, Michigan. A lot more fun, too. Uh, there was a bit of a right crosswind. Uh, the wind was 320. Somewhere in the mid teens with gusts to the mid 20s. Actually, a little bit less. Gusts were by that time, uh, you know, the low 20s. Needed to crab and slip. All in all, it was a good trip. I'll be working here for. This week, and then I will be headed back down to Waksha, hopefully via the Mooney.